Hey, what's happening guys? It's Aaron from Black Sparrow Ranch. Welcome back. I sold the tractor. Um, had to put a lot of thought into what we were going to do with this. And I wanted to talk about it for just a minute. I've only had the thing about, I don't know, six or eight weeks. And at the time, Beth was like, you need to brush hog. You need to get it done by a tractor. So I did. And then we decided that I'm really going to need a loader. So we're waiting from, uh, waiting to hear from my 401k people. I'm trying to take out a loan that we could do a bunch of stuff with. But we're going to talk about plans and stuff in a different video. I put this tractor on, I'm pointing this way because it's over here. I put the tractor on Craigslist. I put it on Facebook Market probably two and a half, three weeks ago. Um, this is not tractor buying time. Um, most people are looking in the spring or maybe in the fall, but right now um, there are a lot of tractors that are just there that have been there for a, a long time. So I'm pretty lucky I found a guy to buy it yesterday. He's only the second person that came and looked at it. The first guy wanted it but couldn't get the money together. This guy uh, came out yesterday, took a test drive, wrote me an earnest check, and he's going to pick it up today or tomorrow. So I have never had this experience selling something since ghosting became a thing. I mean, it's, it's been a thing since before someone made up a term for it. But I had so many people will text me or email me, is the tractor still available? And I say yes, and they either don't respond or they ask if they can come take a look at it. They say, when is a good time? And I say, you tell me, I'll be here after 4.30 every day, you know? Uh, and then they either don't respond to that or they say, okay, I'll be there around six. And then they never show up and I never hear from them again. So I thought that was really weird. Like if you're interested in it, why put forth any effort to try to, you know, set up a time to come see it if you're not going to follow through. Secondly, and this is something that I probably should have said first, because <laughs> this is the more important of the two things. If you sell something on Craigslist and you put your phone number, uh, you will almost certainly get uh, phishing attempts to your cell phone. Uh, it'll be something like, I should have saved a screenshot, I didn't. It'll be something like, uh, you have two message replies to your ad uh, on Craigslist, click here to view them. And it's a web address that says Craigslist somewhere in there but it's actually not craigslist.com. It's a subdomain of some other website that they're gonna try to um, either like run some scripts or you know whatever those phishing websites do. So do not click that link under any circumstances. Just delete the text message and be done with it. So I'm kind of sad. This is, this is my first tractor, our first tractor. And um, it's done a really good job. It's 60 years old, over 60 years old. It's done a really good job, but I'm probably gonna be moving hay bales around. And I've got a bunch of dirt work. Uh, let me just show you this. Hopefully my windscreen's working. So this, this uh, part of the property that the pond is on, it's very uneven. Over here, there's like a, it's like a berm to direct the water because it's a runoff pond. But over on the other side of the pond, there's like, um, I don't even know if, if you can really see it that well. Um, there's a ditch that starts about right there and runs off that way. And then on the other side of that, there is um, a bunch of like little drop-offs, like little like six or seven foot tall hills that they just drop off and you can't drive a tractor anywhere near them or you might roll your tractor over and that's never a good thing. So I guess I'll end this out here with the pretty view. I'll be sad to see the tractor go, like I said. Um, it's done a really good job though, you can't tell because the, <laughs> the, the grass has grown <laughs> since I brush hogged. But it's been really good. So. Um, Watch out for that scam or any scam like that. If you get an email from or a text from those things, 
they are 99% of the time fake. And I think Gmail does a pretty good job of filtering those out, but there's no filter on your text messages, which is where they try to get you. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.